Hey guys, today we're taking a day trip to Elan Valley. Nestled in the heart of the Cambrian Mountains of Mid Wales, with its unspoiled landscapes, captivating views and rolling hills, we think Elan Valley is a must visit. For all you outdoorsy people, Elan Valley doesn't disappoint. There are walking trails and cycle paths all the way around the reservoirs. Anglers rejoice. Fishing is welcome during the March to October fishing season. Or on those clear summer nights, the sky is a sight to behold. Bear in mind though, with sunset nearing 10pm, this may end up being an early morning affair. Entering the visitor centre is free and the £3 car park charge covers you for the whole of the estate's car parks for the entire day. Your first hour is free. If you plan on visiting the Elan Valley regularly, you might want to purchase their annual parking pass which costs £35 and covers you for unlimited parking for an entire year. Your parking fee goes towards servicing the sites and ensuring they are kept clean and well maintained. The visitor centre also offers access to toilets, a kiosk and a cafeteria that offers light snacks and meals. If we haven't already said so, Elan Valley is family friendly with access to a play area just outside of the visitor centre, which means you can enjoy a picnic as you watch the kids play. And if you're like us and treat your fairy friend as part of the family, rest assured they'll have full access to the valley as long as they are kept on a lead. Please make sure you pick up after your pooch, there are little bins strewn all around the site. So we've just gone into the visitor centre to find out what the installation outside here is and apparently it was the Millennia project done in 2000 to celebrate the Millennia. Each one of these stones represents a town in Radnorshire in Powys. Uh, the size of the stones represent the size of the population of the town at that time. And then there is a border around which indicates the, the border of the actual county. Just a fun, interesting fact. <laughs> <laughs> In 1942, the Nantograd Dam Wall served as a test site to prove the effectiveness of underwater explosives in demolishing a dam wall. The success of this experiment served partly in the development of bouncing bombs used to destroy dam walls in World War II. The Nantograd Dam remains are still present and now act as a historical landmark. Follow the Nantograd walking path if you'd like a glimpse of this piece of history. Sadly, Penny was getting tired, so we had to cut our Nantagra walk short and didn't get to the ruins on this Elan Valley trip. We'd recommend wearing a comfortable pair of walking boots or trainers. We found that some of the terrain was a little uneven. Make sure to pack lots of water and a few snacks, especially if you're planning on visiting on a warm day like we did.
Elan Valley is a river valley west of Reader, located in Powys, Wales. The valley consists of four main reservoirs, made by damming up the Elan and Clarewin rivers, not only acting as a water source for the West Midlands, but also used to produce up to four megawatts of hydroelectric power. On our way back to the car, we decided to treat ourselves and Penn to an ice cream. Don't worry, Penn's was a doggy friendly version. If you're looking for a little more than just a few light bites, we'd recommend stopping in at the town of Radar on your way home, where you'll find lots of local pubs and quaint cafes and restaurants. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to join us on our next adventure, please like, comment and subscribe. Recording. All right, Gav says I have to be cool, so here's me being cool. <laughs> guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> my chanas. Hey, my chanas. How's it? <laughs> How's it, but today we're taking a detrip. Detrip. <laughs> Hey guys, today we're taking... There we go. Do you want to speak? What do you want me to speak? No, it's cool. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thanks.